Hello everyone and welcome back to Kai Plays The Walking Dead. This is episode 3, part 3. If you've not watched anything before this and you don't want spoilers, go, go back and watch them. And if you don't want any spoilers for this game, full stop before you play it. Maybe go play it. Anyway, let's get back into this. And we're gonna Hi. talk to Lily again. Nope. Oh yeah, we totally saw Pencil back here. I forgot about that. Uh, my memory. I remember the leaf, but I don't remember the pencil we saw before the leaf. I could have killed you. I had you while you were rummaging around in the front there. Okay, go. Cool. I know you did what you did for a reason, and part of me understands. But the other part sees you with your back turned to me and knows I could have killed you. Cool. I need to go. Okay, bye. Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! Lily! Come back here, you crazy bitch! Shit. Fuck! Stop! We have literally nothing. Oh my god. She just abandoned two children, one of whom who is very sick. Let's focus on the train. <clears throat> I should have fucking killed her. I should have fucking killed her. I'm so well, angry. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. What's up with Catch's eyes? Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. I think that other zombie was as a um, thing about white eyes. There we go. Oh, I should have killed her. I should have fucking killed her. Oh my god. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I don't think Duck feels good. Uh, me neither. Empathetic little Clem. All right. I'm making sure that freaking walker's still where I left him. I'm not taking risks. Oh, okay. I forgot this wasn't the way we went round to that in the first place. <sighs> oh my god, I should have killed her. I should have freaking killed her. I should have killed her. I should have murdered Lily. I don't know if his arm is meant to do that. It looks a little weird. You know, I do not remember how we got around here, and I literally just did this. There's there's a dead body over here, and they have a weapon that I'm interested in. Oh wait, no, that's not a dead body. That's the that one. I got no idea how to kill him. Okay, well, we've still got time. We still need to get that thing pulled out of the back there. Can we get anything from here? Yeah, we can. This is where Ben came, isn't it? Let's use a pencil. Perfect. Yay. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Okay. So number six, we need two down, two up, one up, one down, one up. Whoops. So on this one, we need two down, two up, right? One down, one up, one down. Let's let's look at that again. How do you access things in your inventory? It's a tab? Okay, give me a second, I'm gonna look at my settings. 
Um, controls. Move character, scroll, dialogue options. Oh my god, I didn't remember I memorize all of them. Hey kid, what's up? You want to talk about that? I'm really sorry, Kenny. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. I'm sorry about the RV. Keeping her was my call. This one's on me. The radiator's fucking hosed in that thing, so she won't make it 30 miles. We figure this train out, and maybe it turns out she did us a favor. Hmm. With the directions I was able to piece together, I, I think I might be able to get this thing started. Uh, I don't know. It's a long shot. I don't even know what the fuel situation is with this thing. We'll find out. You mess around in the engine compartment yet? With the directions I was able to piece oh. together... I, I, <laughs> it's just him saying the same thing. Is there any way... I think I might be able to get this thing started. Uh, I don't know. It's a long shot. I don't even yeah. know what the fuel situation is with this thing. We'll find out. You mess around in the engine compartment yet? Um, I'll get back to it. Me too. So how do you get the, the instructions to come back up? Nope. One momento.
Okay, hiya, sorry, I'm back. Um, oh! <sighs> yep, that makes, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I just went and found that image on Google Images after a load of searching and avoiding spoilers and it, it was, it was right. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I am so dumb. Oh, why am I so dumb? Um, so five. Five is sideways and vertical. Vertical? Yeah. Horizontal and vertically. Why does it keep getting me to use? Okay. Nope, that's fine. This, this is what I want to use. Oh, whatever. Nope, don't want to use a capital with that. Is that my only option? Right, so... Down, down, up, up. Up, down, up. Down, down. Up, up. Down, up, down. down, down. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, that's fine, okay. Um. Okay, so what now? Do I need to go check it's working back here? Um. Might be something inside. Could it be this one? Oh, look at all these handy dandy tools. Spanner. Spike remover? That seems like the obvious choice. So I'm gonna go with the, the road less travelled. <sighs> Is it this one I check that the thing's working now? Touch button, touch button, touch button. Doesn't nope. look like the engine has any power. Same. I know that feel engine. Feeling entirely powerless in a horrible dystopian world. It's a very relatable feel right now. The most relatable character in this game is the train. I'm kidding. You know, this game all looks like really nice watercolours and it makes me a bit envious because I cannot use any kind of paint to any kind of success other than like watercolour pencils and that is just cheating. <clears throat> it's stuck. I can definitely pry this thing free if I can break it loose first. Oh, no. What <clears throat> did you use on the knee? It's stuck. We need a Frig bunch not. of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Okay, okay. We'll take the long waddle back. God. Go. Yeah, move your flat little butt. Your angular stylized butt. Look at that. He ain't even a curve to his butt cheeks. Why am I talking about his butt so much? Okay, man. Okay. So we need to break the rust away first. So let's get this. Why can we only take one at a time? Also, are those just held up by a magnetic plate? I know that those actually exist in a lot of places like this, so... I'm not going to be like, oh no, that's so unrealistic. Because I don't know the ins and outs of it. Trains. I do know that you do get magnetic strips to put your items up on. Because people have those in restaurants and stuff. So that they don't have to just shove all of their um, knives into a block of a block of wood. Uh, uh, no? stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry uh, anything blah, blah, free. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. What kind of force do you need? Let's try the final one. The final thing in the 
<laughs> why, why do I keep singing? Oh. Okay, let's try this now. Oh, isn't this the most fun part of games? Hey, actually, you know who we could we could pay a visit to now? Probably that zombie. Let's go see if we get killed by the zombie. Just try to get some animal crackers. Maybe the sugar will keep duck alive for a little longer. Just a little longer. Those things were designed to save lives. Well, clearly his brain wasn't there. Oh, I thought that item would do. Wait, do you have to open the door? Maybe? That would probably make sense. Doors closed. Let's play a risky game. Yeah, look at his gnarly bones. This door's gonna hurt. What's the option? Unlock it? Some animal crackers. Hey, sweet pea, you okay, okay out here? I have no option to give up her then. I don't think Duck feels good. Uh, me neither. I achieved like nothing in this episode. Here. I found these, if Duck's up for it. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? <laughs> Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not Duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Sure. Do I need to go talk to Kenny again? I've looked at like everything around here, so. And I'm getting very conscious of time. I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste a lot of time. I don't think this is gonna be anything different. So yeah, let's have another look at this. What's this for? And this won't let me change anything else. Is there something I need to pull to ensure that it's it's on? Oops, my bad. Okay, and I definitely have that on right. Down, down, up, 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 down, up. Wait, I think I might have that wrong. Up, down, up. Yes, I have that wrong. I do have that wrong. I was overconfident in myself. This shows me, this this whole episode is just a humbling experience around myself, never to trust myself. Yeah. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Okay. Yep. Now we're talking. <laughs> um, 
don't have too much faith in my Kenny. Nine goes to the left, and nine goes to the right. Do we do one then the other? Where's nine? I'm guessing nine's outside, isn't it? We're finally making some progress! Now that stopped being a complete idiot. And then... Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. <laughs> I don't think she will, though. We need to move that thing that she's attached to. It's all yours. The throttle? God, this is a really, like, intimate That's angle. Throttle. Still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. Yep. I know exactly where it is. I think that might have just got all the like, dust off of that thing. Let's go try. What's that whole definition of insanity thing? Doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. This game fits into that a bit. I'm the weirdest pain in my stomach. Yeah! Free. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! Everybody knows there's no such thing as a happy time in the walking dead. You touch any of my stuff? What the fuck? What a sneaky guy. I took the map of the train routes. That's fine, you can have that. Really? Yeah, I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Please. <laughs> that your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants <laughs> off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. <laughs> it's still okay, kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. Okay. Let's chill, I guess. You met Chuck! <laughs> yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, <laughs> then too! <laughs> oh, Ben. I trust you, Ben. Don't, don't, don't make it. I'm totally just have candy. Boy, I got the last piece I got on me. Figures. <laughs> you met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. You're a very, very dirty. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever this I got. Seems like a fever although dream. it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Oh. 
we just getting this is like that really weird moment in the show where Beth just sings the um the parting glass, is that what it's called? Hey, the song about dying pea. essentially. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste. No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary kind of. Hey, Ben. You okay? How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? <laughs> Dude, chill your bail. I'm sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. Well, we're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worse. Boxcar's safe enough to sleep in. I better get back to it. How many times has this poor woman heard that today? But that's Kenny go. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. You coming, Chuck? Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. I it's the stylish here. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. <laughs> Don't be angry, Clem. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. What can you do? And I'm starting to, you know, the whole medication thing. But at the same time, I would understand why you're doing it. The same way that I, if the cat was doing it, I'd understand why she was doing it too, you know? Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them? Nope. No. Ah, living got them. They got them. Yeah. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get him. What's up? If you get that off his face, my hands are full here. Oh. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. It seems like a really good like situation where I would end up falling off or like crawling along the bottom of the like walkway. Why are you so casual? Is it the shift that we speed up in or is that the the life is strange? You need to stop the train.
Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. Your wife wants for me. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. <sighs> Not that fucking sham you're running back there. It's okay. Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. friend. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? I'm not gonna fight you. Knock this shit off. So, you wanna fight then? No. I just wanna talk, Ken. Relax. Then talk. How many sons are you gonna let die? Shut your mouth! <laughs> Oh fuck! Alone. I don't need you, and Doc okay. doesn't need you. You don't even have a child. You don't know what this is like. You fucker! You're not helping my family. You're not helping Clementine. You're not helping anybody. Okay. You hear me? I... I don't know what to do. Stop the train. Don't let your friends punch you. Narratively it works here, not so much in real life. <laughs> um, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video when we will pick this back up from this heartbreaking moment. See you next one. Bye!